Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video I'm sharing a swatch of one particular nail polish color that is in my collection. And for today's one, it is one from the new Shine Less Than Go collection by Essence Cosmetics. But of course, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you would like to do so. And hit that notification bell if you want to be a part of my little nail family here here at YouTube. But yeah, let's just grab your own nail supplies and paint your nails together with me because we're starting off with the base coat. I am using one by Essence. I have used this one for a long time, but there was actually like some time in between I picked it up again. So I have used it a ton in the past. I actually bought my second bottle already, but then I just felt like trying out some other ones. And yeah, I, I didn't use it for like a couple of months, I guess. But for this particular like manicure, I was like, let's just grab it again because I really liked it. I at least remembered really liking it and I was just going to slap it on for this one. In this video I am only using Essence Cosmetics products so these are all vegan they are cruelty free they are safe to use and they are very very budget proof as well so yeah I'm just going to apply this as usual making sure to cap off the edges as well and letting that dry for I'd say a couple of minutes like three towards five minutes it really depends on what kind of base coat you are using whether or not it is quick drying so just try some different ones out for yourself and see which one has your personal preference but yeah of course capping off the edges makes sure that your manicure lasts a longer period of time and you don't have as much chipping and tip wear as well. Then after that is dry, I am going in with number 81, Call Me Rusty. As I mentioned, this one is from the Fall Winter 2021 collection update from their regular nail polish line, Shine Last and Go. I know that they say on the bottle it's a gel-like formula, but it actually is a regular nail polish. And one way to keep in mind, if you're curious whether or not a nail polish is a regular polish or a gel, if if it is in a translucent bottle, it is a regular nail polish. Because if you would put gel in a translucent, like transparent bottle, it would cure because of UV rays, like sunlight, stuff like that. So gels are only able to be put in solid colored bottles. Most of them are already in fully black bottles because that holds back the sunlight or daylight the most. So yeah, keep that in mind if you're curious, like, okay, the bottle says gel nail polish. Um, is it a gel? You know, I, I can see how that is a very confusing that brands are actually doing that. But if it's in a transparent or translucent kind of bottle, it is a regular nail polish and it air dries. So you don't need a UV or LED light or anything like that to make it secure to your nails. So yeah, this color is actually really, really beautiful. It is kind of like a dark reddish orangey browny kind of tone. Personally, I think this is a perfect color for fall season and that is also why I chose to apply this one for this nail polish of the week video. And of course, there's like a little hair in my nail polish again. So definitely make sure if you have like pets, cats, dogs, anything that has fur, you know what it's like to have like a cat hair stuck in your nail polish. But just peel it out reapply your polish and you're good to go but yeah one thing i really wanted to talk to you about today or maybe more of like ask you a question because i have already dropped the fact that we have bought a new home and i will be moving renovating and so on for a longer period of time at least entire like of december I will be renovating, um, also working full-time still, um, and just moving, packing, all that jazz. So I won't be uploading as many videos in December, but I was actually curious to know if you would like me to do like some update kind of 
like very face-to-face -face, just uh, vlog style videos give you like little updates on what's going on share the story of why we're actually wanting to move and all that jazz and maybe also just take you like with me while packing up all of my stuff like my nail polishes and what the entire plan is how my new studio is going to look and stuff like that of course this is like a longer kind of project so it will take up a couple of months before i'm like fully settled in the new home but if you would like me to take you guys on this little like moving packing up journey with me definitely let me know in the comment section down below because i can definitely record some snippets while moving and stuff and packing up and just share with you how it all like goes if it actually goes to plan or not so definitely let me know if you'd like me to do something like that it will be a very intimate like one-on-one -on -one, face to face kind of vlog type that i actually used to do years ago for my beauty blog as well so yeah if you would like me to do so definitely let me know in the comment section down below but back to this polish because you can tell the application is flawless it's completely opaque within two coats the this brush it is just such a nice shape it's nice and full it picks up the right amount of polish and that is why the application is so effortless you know i really really love this color um yeah pigmentation is great the polish itself it's like 1 euro 69 here in the netherlands it's super inexpensive and it actually did wear really nicely on my nails. It really kept its hold for, I think it was six or seven days before I switched it up. And I had minimal tip wear or chipping. So yeah, the top coat I'm using, as I mentioned, is also one by Essence. The bases and top coats by Essence are actually, I think price-wise, around 2 euros. Um, really inexpensive once again. A little bit goes a long way. And um, the only thing that I have to mention about these is that I don't really like their brushes when it, brushes when it comes to the bases and top coats. Because those have a very like straight, square kind of edge. Um, like comparing it to the shine last and go collection nail polishes those are nice and rounded a little fanned out even um so i personally like the rounder ones better um than these like more flat and really like straight cut off brushes but yeah quality wise they are actually pretty decent especially thinking of how inexpensive these are and once again these bases and top coats are also vegan cruelty free safe to use and I think that a lot of them are also plant-based, if I'm correct. But yeah, this was actually the entire new nail polish of the week video already. I really hope you liked it. Let me know what you think about this color. And also, once again, if you would like me to do like some moving kind of packing vlogs and so on regarding the new home, the move, the new studio, and yeah, all that jazz. But yeah, this color, it has pretty much stolen my heart a little bit. I just think it's perfect for fall kind of vampy as well especially for me I'm quite pale skinned if you know what I mean but yeah it will definitely suit a lot of different skin tones as well but thank you guys so much for watching I love you so much and I hope to see you in my next video